Learning objectives include Western blotting. Western blotting is another serological technique that could be used for microbial identifications. We know that various organisms have common proteins in them, but certain proteins are specific to every single species of an organism or microorganism, and those proteins could be targeted by serological methods. So in this Western blotting, what is done basically is that you take all the antigens, extract the antigens from a single colony of a bacterium, and then you separate those proteins through electrophoresis. And as we know that proteins could be separated based on their molecular weight through the gel. When these proteins get separated, we can transfer these proteins onto another membrane called nitrocellulose membrane by um, putting high salt and that soaking the gel with the high salt, keeping the filter on the gel, and then that filter is then stacked with lots of paper. And by the wake action of this paper, the high salt is, with the capillary action, is sucked in through the gel. And when high salt moves from the bottom, from the container into these, this stack of papers, it takes all the proteins from the gel onto the cellulose, nitrocellulose filter or membrane. And this transfer is exactly the same as we originally separated the proteins. So the proteins remained separated in their individual bands. And then a specific protein that we want to detect could be detected by the use of antibodies, the same method as we used in ELISA. So the antibody has to be labeled with some probe. And then we would allow the filter that has the bands on the, the, the bands on the paper, the nitrocellulose filter, we would allow the antigen-antibody interactions to take place, and then we would have a detection system by which we detect the specific band if that band, that antigen is there. For example, after transferring the proteins from the gel onto the filter, we take the filter and then add labeled antibodies into a tube like this, and then we let it run, roll, for 30 minutes or an hour, and then these antibodies are taken away, washed out. You know, those unbound antibodies are washed out. And then if, let's say, this is a radioisotope, this probe was a radioisotope, we can expose the, the gel or the, the, the filter in this case with the X-ray film. And because radioisotopes, uh, they could be detected by the X-ray film. And this, these images, wherever that protein is there, that interacted with our specific antibodies that have radioisotope probe, it would make a band there. So on this is an extra film that is basically showing different bands. And that the presence of these bands basically tells us that the protein was there. And the protein we know it came from a specific microorganism. And that is how we can imply a Western blotting, one of the modified version of a serological technique. In summary, proteins could be separated by electrophoresis, and those proteins could be blotted onto a filter paper. That filter paper uh, could be soaked with specific antibodies, and those bands that interact with those antibodies could be detected.